or one of the teachers attending this year's Fall Arts Institute for Teachers, is an instructor at Francis Tuttle Technology Center. So we decided to go and visit their class. Joining me now is our Courtney May. Well, it's a broadcast and video production class that's already landing professional gigs. And the class's work is so impressive, one internationally recognized company is placing some of its video work in the hands of these Francis Tuttle students. And whenever you're ready. Lights, camera. Action. Hi, and welcome to AO. Students in Francis Tuttle's broadcast and video production class are learning the art of directing. Say it wrong and then react. Okay. Script writing mm -hmm. and last minute touch-ups that go in to broadcasting. All right, I'll whip it up for you ladies. This program is nothing like I've ever seen before. I have that background in video and I had to go to college to get that, to get the, uh, the information that these students get in a program that they can complete inside of a year or two. And this broadcasting class is producing fun educational videos for Kimray, a worldwide oil-filled manufacturing company. We're called upon by outside companies to actually come and help them in their production pieces. So it gives them the experience of not only shooting, but to edit those down into packages and working with customers. And this customer is Katrina Castle, Kim Ray's wellness engagement coordinator. So we may have to edit it down. It just happened to mesh that what we were ne needing, they could help us do, and that would in turn help them with their projects as well. And one student's name will roll through the credits more than once. Cameron Becker's creative script writing landed him the job of director yeah. as well. And he says he feels right at home. Yeah. My team and I decided that I should direct for this part of our project and I mean I have uh, experience with leadership already because I used to be in the army. So it actually was kind of natural for me to step into a leadership role. Girls! And it's an opportunity that's giving Becker a glimpse at his broadcasting career. Okay, let's cut. <laughs> All right, can you, what do you want? <laughs> I am really excited that they reached out to us in the first place and then I got to be a part of it. That I got to actually sit here and uh, help them in something that's really big. After this short-term program, students like Becker have the opportunity to land entry-level jobs in all genres of broadcasting. And that is what instructor Salim is most proud of. They have the opportunity to, to leave here and get employed. It's awesome. I, I sometimes wish the students understood what, what they have in front of them right here. And some of them do, and they take advantage of it, and that, that makes us excited here. Okay. So let's move on to the next. So what are some of the job opportunities these students will have upon completion of this class? Well, anything from production to directing and even on-air talent. And it's a two-year program, but when these students are done, they will have a lot of the same opportunities as people who completed a four-year degree. And not only that, but instructor Salim says the program is making connections with broadcast professionals all across the state, and that alone has landed some students in the class internships. All right. Sounds great. Thank you so much, Courtney. You're welcome, Rob.